it's early November. Thought it'd be a good time to do a quick video and show you how we prepare this greenhouse for winter. Here in Springville, we can get below zero Fahrenheit in the winter, which is pretty cold for a greenhouse. Summers, we can get above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So there are things we need to do to prepare for winter and for summer, cold weather and warm weather. Thought I'd show you what we do. First of all, we remove the shade cloth. And you can see it rolled up there on the back top of the greenhouse. Got some sprinkler pipe that we used, run the full length of the greenhouse and it takes us about 15 minutes to roll it up and secure it to the top of the greenhouse where we've got some some eyelets that were part of the construction of the greenhouse. We put some uh, kind of figure eight eyelets and large washers on there to help secure the shade cloth. So the shade cloth on the outside, now I'll show you what we do on the inside. Come out of the wind here. Couple things in this room. This vent, is on a solar stick year round so that it opens with warmer temperatures and closes with colder temperatures. You can see the stick right there. It's been really handy. I thought about insulating this vent in the winter, but it's been kind of nice to open up and allow cooler temperatures in. Panning around here. Solar is still running and doing well. I have some concerns about solar as it gets cold and the geothermal is running throughout the middle of the night, but we'll see. And then in regards to the fans, that smaller middle fan is the only fan that we leave hooked up during the winter. It can handle the heat just fine by itself. So that's the only fan hooked up. The other two big fans have been disconnected. All right, in the main growing area here, you can see we've still got a canopy here. Passion fruit, tomatoes, dragon fruit, kiwi is up there. There's actually some raspberry that's crawled up on top as well. We're slowly peeling back this canopy. As it gets colder, we'll want to allow in more and more light. But for now, it's been great. It helps us cool the uh, greenhouse on these warm days. And even in January, if it's 20 degrees and sunny, it's gonna easily warm into the 80s Fahrenheit here in the greenhouse. So we're gonna use the canopy a little bit. We're gonna use the geothermal and we're gonna use the, uh, the fan. Actually, the geothermal will work for warming, but the fan will work for cooling. Another thing I'll show you, here in Utah, we have really beautiful fall foliage. And rather than bag and throw away my leaves, I love to mulch them. And put them in garden beds, put them here in the greenhouse. I would gladly take three or four inches of mulch leaves here on the floor. It'll help insulate the trees, the plants, you name it. All right, moving towards the back here, I wanna show you the uh, the east end of the greenhouse. The rainbow hoop, those are my exhaust pipes. And those pipes go over into my shop. And in the summer, the we have a blower that blows cool air out of the shop into the greenhouse. Well, getting ready for winter, we reverse it, disconnect the blower. And so that when the cooling fan comes on to cool the greenhouse during the day here, it'll blow air through those uh, those pipes and into the cold shop to help warm the shop. So we're using the greenhouse and the shop to benefit each other. On the left corner, you can see a blower. The one change I have to do there is with the thermostat, I have to switch a wire so that it is working with cold air rather than warm air, meaning as the temperature drops, it turns on rather than as it rises, it turns on. So we have to switch a wire there. And then with these three vents in back, they are closed, they are insulated. I have some three quarter inch foam insulation on the back side of it with some plastic taped around it so that it doesn't leak. The vent up on top we leave to blow open if there is positive pressure in here and the exhaust pipes here aren't handling it, that vent will pop open just a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That's all we do. It takes maybe 20, 30 minutes to prepare this greenhouse for winter. 
and uh, just panning back around here. It's been a fun year. Everything's going well in here. I need to do an update on how things are doing growing wise in here and give you an update on solar and some other things. But just a short update on how we transition this greenhouse and prepare it for winter. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. We love your feedback as always. Have a great day.